when I speak about inaccuracies, there, there is a bit to do with that in terms of you know combinations getting used to each other as well. Um, and look, we're 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 implementing as much as we can um, on how we want to train to how we want to play, and and that's that's going to take a bit of time. But you know, I suppose going back to your question, it doesn't um, allow excuses of not being able to catch the ball early. And, and as I said, that's that's something we spoke about and we looked at uh, on the video on Monday um, because. I think through our, our shapes and our systems, we can see that there will be potentially um, opportunities if we are, I suppose, a bit sharper around that that catch pass that catch pass element of our game, you know. So, but as I said, it's 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 work in progress, and it's it's where we want to go, and it's what we want to do, and but we need to do it better. And I, again, look, this isn't uh, looking for excuses because, as, as I said, we we take responsibility as coaches and as players, but. Um, in terms of just combinations, we've, we've used 41 different players already in three games. So you still have that adjustment of guys getting used to each other. You've new systems in place. Um, you've a new framework in place. So um, there is that element to it. But as I said, um, we sat down with a very honest and open uh, video on, on Monday. Um, and we looked at those areas. And, uh, and we've, we've been working on them and we've been putting them in, in, in place to, to be better for the, the next training and the next match. It's, it's a big occasion for them, obviously, as well, with their opening of their 4G pitch. So I'm sure the place will be, will be rocking on, on Friday night and they probably look at it as a, as a very good opportunity for, for them. Um, you know, I suppose if you, if you look at the, the fixtures they've had over the last couple of weeks, they have been challenging. Um, they have, I suppose, have had challenging game, but they've been away together, which is a, a good thing at the start of the season in terms of bringing people together and you're with each other for two weeks. So we know that um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a huge, a huge challenge. Um, they'll come out, you know, um, I'm sure 100% gunning and, and, and we will too. And that's, as I said, we're, we're you know, we're, we're disappointed. We know what's, we know better than anyone, I suppose, that we came, we've come up short over the last number of weeks. As I said, there is an element of, of you know, um, bidding in new systems and whatnot, but we know we need to get better and um, and that's how we're looking at this game, but we know it's going to be a big challenge. Some of the performances haven't been up to our standard or what we would have wanted so far, but, uh, you know, new season and getting a bit of game time now, getting a bit of consistent game time was something I would have been looking for over the last few seasons, so it's nice to get that now. Uh, and you can build a little bit of uh, momentum and hopefully a bit of form and that that continues into the rest of the games. But no, it's been good so far, learning a lot of the new coaches, there's some new systems and that in place so that we kind of starting to understand all of those and hopefully now we can keep on working on top of that. And it's definitely a huge opportunity and uh, I definitely saw, saw that coming now, coming to the season and uh, I guess what I needed to tell myself is nothing needs to change from my perspective. I've been trying to get to that level and play as much as possible over the last few seasons as well. And I've been putting in all the work up until now. And now all of a sudden I've got the opportunity in front of me and now it's up to me to try to take it and stake my claim on Jersey. There's always pressure when you're playing at this level for a club like Munster. Every time you pull on a Jersey and that you've got a standard to live up to and an expectation to fill. So you can only put so much pressure on yourself because there's always going to be outside pressure. Uh, so I just, I just have to know that I can, I can do my thing at that level and hopefully that comes across in the games, but I can always give my best and I've prepared as well as I can to be at that level. So that's, that's what I plan to do, yeah. Prendy's quite uh, positive in terms of getting us involved in the ball as much as possible, trying to impose ourselves So really, um, bring our own individualism into into the game. Uh, so we've been given a lot of freedom, a lot of confidence and backing behind getting on the ball and get, uh, like using my hands and then carrying as well. So I've, I've been enjoying that and being able to kind of take a bit of a bigger role in terms of carrying and getting my hands on the ball. And I, I'm, I'm very, I very much enjoy getting involved in the game as much as possible like that. It's always a fairly feisty interpro. There's always, with any interpro, there's a little bit of uh, Behind the scenes, everyone knows each other pretty well, so there's always a bit of a bit of grit and a bit of uh, pushing and shoving that can happen around it, around the game. But um, no, everyone's definitely switched on. We know the task coming up. I know Connacht have had haven't had the best start of the season. Like we were in some position last week where we hadn't had a win yet, and they're coming home now. It's the first home game of the season as well, so we know they'll be coming out firing. and They've got a point to prove. So. 
we're definitely ready to sort of stand up to it and hopefully build on last week and keep the season rolling with a few wins.